the beginning of the year, I got a call from Danny and it was, I want to build a, uh, the biggest ramp and go bigger than anybody's ever thought of and nobody wants to step to it. it that kind of scares me a little bit when a friend says that to you, so I was like, um, psyched for him, but I just was concerned too, but you know, I know it's Danny, so it's, I don't really, he's going to figure it out. And, and he, he was just uh, saying, yeah, you should come out and, and play with it when, we, when I build it, you know, and I'm just thinking at the time, it really, I hadn't really been thinking about riding big ramps, but, um, but it, it, I think that planted the seed. And then uh, I went to China for the uh, Key Extreme Games and he sent me some photos. And he's like, it's done. And I just looked at it and I'm just like, it didn't make any sense to me, but he was ready to go. And he asked if I wanted to come down and test it out with him. And you know, unfortunately I, I can't say no to that. And no matter what's going on in my life. So I was like, yes, uh, wait, I, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> and then flew home and that, that week I went out there and, uh, and just got to experience gnarly Nirvana with him. And it was, it was amazing. I love Danny and I have so much respect for him, but I'm also a bit scared to hang out with him. You know, it's like when you live a life like mine, it's good to have a bunch of people that say no around you. And, and I know Danny and I are of the, of the same, you know, kindred spirit. And we would just say, oh yeah, but you could do this bigger. <laughs> this idea could even explode like this. And so I was always like, you know, that, that's probably bad for my survival rate. Those ideas are, I love them, but they scare the hell out of me. But at the same time, that is progression in my mind. And that's how I live, I, is to face my fears every day. And that's why I wake up and walk down to my vert ramp and ride, because it scares me. And this whole idea, it scared me, but I just was like, like history was changing. You know, like it was just gonna, there's gonna be a whole nother era of, of this idea. And so it was really exciting. You know, I could tell that he built this crazy dream and this monstrosity and he's just sitting up on top of this ramp and all these people are just going like, what are you thinking? No one really uh, gets his mind and I could tell he just felt really lonely and that's what happens sometimes. That whenever you do stuff like that and you're finished and you're like, okay, you're up there just thinking about all things that could go wrong and that's, it gets real kind of intimidating and then you start second guessing yourself and especially if no one's ever done it and you're doing something that isn't possible before you attempt it. So whenever he reached out to me, I, I felt so good that I, I've been in that same situation and I could kind of be there with him and, and be like, no man, you're brilliant. <laughs> this is amazing what you made. This is incredible. And I didn't even have to dream it up and I get to play on it. <laughs> I used to not be able to ever walk away. And I think that was okay when I was younger maybe, I don't know, but, uh, but now I'm not like on my bike 24 hours a day like I used to be and uh, even though I ride a lot, I just have to realize that sometimes my body and my mind aren't in complete sync and that if I don't feel something, walk away and think about it and respect the dangers that you play with and, and uh, let, it, let it come to you. So that's what I did here whenever I played on this ramp uh, last year. I kind of was feeling it and I was like, you know, I've been in the ER way too much this year and uh, um, I'm going to walk away. I'm just going to prove that I can walk away. And then when I was riding Danny's ramp, I was just like, I, I had that too where, hey, you can walk away at any time. You know, if you don't feel it, it's done. That's the end of the day. Don't force it. You have nobody else you're doing this for except for yourself. And so uh, that day I was, I, I was like, okay, it's not gonna happen today. I'm walking away. The next visit, I kind of had a different idea. I, I kind of didn't want to walk away. I wanted to go as big as I could that in my mind was, you know, I, I had to go until I, I couldn't go anymore. I went bigger than I've ever gone. And that was, you know, it was something that I never really thought that I would do at my old age at 43, <laughs> you know. It was just a moment in time that all the planets aligned. And what better person than to experience this stoke with than Danny. <laughs> and it's not about records and numbers. It's about facing your fears and giving everything you have until you're content that you did everything you could possibly do and no one else would do it like you did it. That's what matters the most to me and that's what, when I saw that contraption, it was a lot to swallow. I knew that that was gonna push both of us over our records. We were gonna go the biggest that we both had ever gone. You know, it's a balance between fear and focus. And that's me without any distractions around me, except for just, I'm doing it for my heart and soul. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm riding on the coattails of, of this great idea that Danny has, and, and he's having to foot the bill for it and, and the, pay the piper for this dream that I got to be a part of. When I was in my 20s or when I was in my 30s, I just kept thinking that um, I'm going to have to, 
I'm gonna have to grow old and chill out. People don't write mega ramps in their 40s and that's the script people give you in life is uh, to follow and that's not fact, you know? You can do whatever you want. You can dream however big you want. You can you can do what you did bigger than you, you did it whenever you were, you were a kid. It's just, it's just if you want to, do you want this? Is it what you're willing to give everything it takes to, to make happen? Right now, that's all I, I needed. I just, I just, just to, to give everything I had to this ramp again. And I, and I hope I'm done. I mean, I, I think I'm done, but I know that can change overnight. These ramps aren't meant to take everything from. If you, if you try to take everything they have, they, they take you. Just go as big as you can and be okay with that because otherwise you're chasing, you're, you're chasing numbers and, and it's not about numbers. You have to, you know, kick some to the curb of the homies and <laughs> be done with it.